Hi, I'm Susan Smythe Kung, and I'm here to talk about developing a data management plan. This virtual poster is part of the Scholarly Communication and Linguistics Resource Workshop and Poster Session. <clears throat> Good data management planning from the project outset can save time, money, and frustration while ultimately helping to increase the impact of research. In this short presentation, I'll answer these questions. What is a data management plan or DMP for short? Who needs a DMP? Why do you need a DMP? When should you write your DMP? And how do you write a DMP? A DMP is a comprehensive living document that describes the type of data to be generated during a research project, how the data will be compiled, analyzed, and stored throughout the project, who will have access to the data during the project, the legal and ethical status of the data, who will be responsible for carrying out the various tasks associated with data management, and how the data will be handled after the project is complete, including deletion or destruction of some or all of the data, long-term preservation of a subset of the data, and how preserved data will be shared. Anyone who plans to conduct a research project of any kind will benefit from a DMP. They're required for anyone who applies for a federal grant as well as some other grants. And sometimes they're required by policies or rules at various levels, institutional, national, and international. There are many reasons why every research project needs a DMP. Here's just a few. To determine the necessary digital and physical storage requirements, to facilitate accurate budgeting, to establish necessary data agreements, contracts, permissions, licensing, et cetera, to increase the likelihood that data can be reused, shared, or verified, to decrease the likelihood that data will be lost or otherwise inaccessible or unusable, to help avoid the unexpected, like extra costs for storage or processing, and to reduce stress and anxiety as much as possible by planning ahead. A comprehensive DMP can be modified to satisfy any requirements, for example, those of grant applications. A DMP should be created as early as possible in a research project and revised as often as necessary for the duration of the project. For more information about how to write a DMP, consult my chapter called Developing a Data Management Plan in the forthcoming book, Open Handbook of Linguistic Data Management, expected to be re released in a few days on January 18th, 2022. Also see the companion data set. This data set is called Data Management Plans for Linguistic Research and it's open access on the Texas Data Repository. It includes guiding questions that are designed to lead the researcher in thinking through all of the data management needs for a particular project. And in answering these questions, thus writing the DMP, there are some additional resources and some sample DMPs in this data set as well. And finally, consult the online companion course to the Open Handbook and Linguistic Data Management. This course is currently in its beta version and it should be released very soon. It's already available at this link. These slides are available at the bit.ly link dmp-lsa all caps, 2022, you can contact me at skung at austin.utexas.edu. Remember, you are only as good as your data, so manage it wisely. <laughs>